Hi everyone. How are you today? Well, I've got another story for you this morning about something that happened back on the first Easter. We all remember what took place early that Easter morning, don't we? Sure, Jesus rose from the dead because when his friends came to, uh, they found out that he wasn't really dead. The stone was rolled, rolled away and he was alive. And later, when they all got together, they talked about what they had seen. Jesus came to visit them and showed them that he was still with them. Pretty cool, right? Well, that afternoon, another group of Jesus' friends were walking down the road, and somebody walked up and they said, Hi, who do you think it was? You're right, it was Jesus again. Well, that night, all of the people that Jesus had visited got together for dinner to try to figure out what they were going to do. They had followed Jesus for three years. Can you count them? One, two, three. That's a long time, isn't it? How many of you are three years old? Then you know how long it was. And some of them really didn't believe that they had seen Jesus. They just thought it was some kind of a ghost. Well, you know we have ghosts at Halloween, but they're not ghosts either, are they? They're just us playing ghosts. So, you know, they were worried because they had no idea what was going to happen next. And you know what did? Jesus walked in and he said, peace be with you. And he told them to touch him. And when they did, he said, you can't touch a ghost, can you? And then he picked up a piece of fish and he ate it just to prove that he was really alive. The people were worried and they were afraid because Jesus was gone and they were alone. But Jesus told them they really weren't alone. He was still there. Well, sometimes we get worried or we're afraid, and it would be really nice if Jesus would come and tell us and have lunch with us, wouldn't it? And it'd be really nice if we thought and we knew he was here in person. Now, I'm going to tell you another story about a couple that they were married and they lived together for a long, long time. The gentleman had an operation, and he wasn't able to get up and walk around like he usually did. And then his wife got some kind of a bug and got really sick and wasn't able to do much of anything either. They didn't know what they were going to do. They didn't know how they were going to fix their meals or get their mail by the road or just how they were going to live. And the gentleman looked out the window, and as you will tell yourself when you look out the window, the grass is coming, isn't it? And he looked at his yard and how proud he was of it, and how neat and clean he kept it. And now what? It was going to get pretty messy. Well, these two folks had always taken care of one another, and now they really weren't sure what they were going to do. They were worried and even scared, and they felt all alone. You know what happened next? There was a knock on their door, and a lady from the church came in with a bowl of homemade chicken noodle soup. And I brought a can here of homemade chicken noodle soup. That's the best I can do, because I don't make homemade soup. But anyway... And then they brought, she brought a fresh of, a loaf of homemade fresh baked bread. A little while later, the gentleman looked out the window and saw some of the kids from church watching and walking around the, the yard, picking up sticks and trying to make his yard look nice. Wow, wasn't that something? And some of the other ones were mowing grass. 
And a little while later, somebody knocked on the door. And do you know what? Here was their mail in their mailbox that the person had brought in. Wasn't that amazing that people from their church and community would do that for them? People from their church came and visited them every day. Sometimes they brought food and sometimes they came to do the dishes or to vacuum the floor or trim the bushes. And sometimes they just came to talk for a while. And a couple of times a lady brought a plate full of her famous oatmeal cranberry apricot and chocolate chip cookies. Well, that's how they knew that they were not alone. They didn't need to worry because Jesus was still there. Their friends from church showed them Jesus every time they came to visit or called him on the phone or asked if there was anything they can do. And that's something we can do too. We can show everyone that Jesus is still here. When we see someone who's worrying or afraid or be feeling lonely, we can say we care for them and we love them. We're being like Jesus. Pretty cool, isn't it? Pretty nice that people will do that for other people. So I hope you remember how much God loves you and how much God wants us to show everyone around us how much we love them too. Let's have a short prayer. Dear God, thank you for reminding us how much you love us. Help us to remember that you love all people you have created and help us let the people around us know that we love them just like Jesus loves us. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for listening in this morning. I hope to see you real soon. Have a great day. Bye now.